On average, first-line managers spend 57% of their time with people, middle managers spend 63% of their time directly with people, and top managers spend as much as 78% of their time dealing with people. These numbers make it clear that managers spend a great deal of time in one-on-one -on -one communication with others. Sometimes, messages are poorly communicated simply because they're delivered using the wrong communication medium, which is the method used to deliver a message. There are two general kinds of communication media, oral and written communication. Oral communication includes face-to-face -face interactions and group meetings through telephone calls, video conferencing, and other means of sending and receiving spoken messages. Studies show that managers generally prefer oral communication over written because it provides an opportunity to ask questions about parts of the message that they don't understand. Oral communication is also a rich communication medium because it allows managers to receive and assess the nonverbal communication that accompanies spoken messages, that is, body language, facial expressions, and voice characteristics associated with paralanguage. Furthermore, you don't need a PC and an internet connection to conduct oral communication. Simply schedule an appointment, track someone down in the hall, or catch someone on the phone. Written communication includes letters, emails, and memos. Although most managers still like to use oral communication, email in particular is changing the way how we communicate with workers, customers, and with each other. Email is the dominant form of communication in organizations primarily because of its convenience and speed. The average adult spends more than an hour each day reading and sending emails. In fact, nearly 300 billion emails are sent around the world every year. Part of the reason for email's dominance is that, as written communication, it's well suited for delivering straightforward messages and information. Furthermore, with email accessible at the office, at home, and on the road by laptop, computer, cell phone, or web-based email, managers can use email to stay in touch from anywhere at almost any time. And because email and other written communications don't have to be sent and received simultaneously, messages can be sent and stored for reading at any time. Consequently, managers can send and receive many more messages using email than by other oral communication methods, which requires people to get together in person or by phone or video conference. Email has its own drawbacks, however. One is that it lacks the formality of paper memos and letters. It's easy to fire off a rushed email that's not well written or fully thought through. The opportunity to lash out with an angry email reply is incredibly tempting. Although written communication is well-suited for delivering straightforward messages and information, it's not well-suited to complex, ambiguous, or emotionally-laden messages, which are better delivered through oral communication.